What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check and today I woke up this morning and I had a software update for my Tesla Model 3 and this is what I got, a request for a full self-driving beta so it's finally here and the new update is 2021.32.22 so we're going to go ahead and press that button. Now once you do this the new Tesla safety score system will be activated. So you want to try to drive the best you can. And the way that you can do that is five different things. So the very first safety factor is the forward collision warnings per thousand miles. And that's when the car lets you know that you're about to hit something. And this is based on the medium forward collision warning sensitivity setting, regardless of what your user settings are for the vehicle. The next one is hard braking. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. What you want to do is try not to hard brake if you can. I know in my Model 3, when I'm in autopilot, the car does tend to hard brake on its own. And I've reached out to Tesla to see if that affects my safety score or not. So what I would probably recommend doing is just kind of stay as far away from the car in front of you as you can and try not to use the brake very much at all. The next one is aggressive turning. I'm sure a lot of people don't really have to worry about this, but if you do aggressively make turns uh, very quickly, I would probably tell you to just hold off on that for at least a week. Uh, so try not to to aggressively make any turns. So the next one is unsafe following. So again, you're gonna you're going to probably want to distance yourself from the car in front of you to keep from hard braking and to keep the car from uh, calculating the amount of time that you would have to react if the car in front of you had hit its brakes. Now this is only if you're going at least 50 miles an hour. The next one is forced autopilot disengagements. And basically what this is, is when you're driving an autopilot and the car it, uh, is letting you know that you need to do something to let it know that you're paying attention, like uh, move the steering wheel or something like that, it gives audible uh, alerts, visual alerts. And if you ignore these, autopilot will shut off and that's where this uh, forced autopilot disengagement comes into play. So definitely keep in mind, uh, if you're in autopilot, make sure you're paying attention. And those are the five factors that they're going to determine uh, whether you are able to do the full self-driving beta or not. Okay, so now if we go into our car settings here and we go under autopilot, it's not going to be under service or anything like that. It's going to be under autopilot. As you can see, the request for full self-driving beta. So we're going to go ahead and press that. Okay, limited early access, full self-driving beta. Thank you for your interest. Uh, once you accept the terms below, the Tesla team will analyze your vehicle's driving data and safety score to determine eligibility. You can view your safety score from the Tesla app at any time, version 4.1. Point oh or newer. If eligible, you will receive a software update as part of the limited early access. So now we just need to check on each one of these boxes. I can send to the collection and review of ongoing VIN associated vehicle driving data while enrolled. I understand that when using full self-driving beta, I am responsible for remaining alert with my hands on the wheel and must be prepared to take action at any time. FSD beta does not make my car autonomous. I understand that FSD beta can be revoked at any time. Accept. All right, so we're now enrolled in the full self-driving beta queue. So now starts the fun part. Like I said, you need to drive very carefully for the next week. Uh, and then hopefully will be able to get that full self-driving beta. And when I do, I will be making another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. If you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.